Hi guys, well, let's see if uh, we can get the stream working tonight. Obviously, I've changed a few things, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, there should be no issues. I'll just do my usual last few minute things. Um, but yeah, no, fingers crossed so far, everything look, is looking like it should be working. I'm just making sure, oh, there we go, I can hear myself. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed <laughs> uh, this will work tonight. Um, just click a few more things. Uh, yeah, no idea why things weren't working um, the other night. I haven't a clue. Didn't do anything different. Um, but yeah, obviously it was over none of it. <laughs> um, and yeah, didn't even get started. But uh, fingers crossed it will work tonight. So if you can let me know, guys, that you can hear me. Um, yeah, I think I've, I've clicked everything I need to click. So I can pretty much sort of get cracking. Um, usual thing, obviously I've, I've got a bit of a, a better layout tonight. So I can see what you guys are typing, which is obviously cool. Uh, it does obviously help me respond to anything. Um, and I've got a bigger screen as well. So yes, bigger screen means I can see it better. Um, I'm not using, because before I was using my um, tablet. And I've used that before in the past, it's worked fine. But I'm not sure if that's what was causing the problems last time. Um, but say, I, I still really can't work out what the issue was. It was definitely obviously on my end, um, rather than YouTube's. But yeah, fingers crossed, all good tonight. So CMNN Gaming. Hello buddy, hope you're well. Uh, ghostly present, hello there. Uh, just in time for washing up again. Okay, cool. Uh, ghostly can hear and see fine, awesome. Hi Manor. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. I say the setup's better tonight. Um, hopefully no issues. Because obviously my plan is to get these painted um, with you guys there. Obviously I'm going to paint them if things do go wrong, which fingers crossed they won't. Um, I will obviously still be painting them. Right, that's what I need to do. Put some music in my ear. Because uh, at the moment it's rather quiet. So let's get a bit of uh, bit of magic mellow going on. There we go. Cool. Because other thing as well, when I have the music in my ear, when the music stops, then I know there's an issue somewhere. Uh, generally my end again, because it'll be the internet sort of falling out for whatever reason. Right, let's just change the volume on this a little bit. So yeah, my plan is to get these painted, which is why I've started about an hour earlier than I normally do. Uh, normally stream sort of eight to 10 if I am gonna do a stream. But tonight, um, yeah, seven, well, seven to 10-ish. I mean, it all depends obviously on how I do with these. Uh, but the plan is to get them obviously all painted if I can. So uh, yeah, uh, Kenny Henson, greetings from Moldova. Hello there. Um, greetings from the UK. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I've kind of done what I did with the, um, oh, the guys that I've forgotten their name. Oh, these chaps. I'm so bad. Oh, Def Corpse of Krieg or something or whatever. Yeah, with these guys, and let's get nice and close because I want to show you what they look like. So obviously I like to batch paint these figures because when you've got like 10 figures and they're all pretty much wearing the same sort of clothes or color clothes, same skin, same weapons, all the rest of it. It just makes more sense doing a batch paint um, because obviously it saves on cleaning the brushes. Um, and yeah, the whole thing, the whole process is just a lot quicker, especially when using speed paints as well, because obviously they are nice and fast. So yeah, when I painted these guys, get closer, uh, when I painted these guys, I painted one fully just to make sure I liked the, the color scheme, basically. Uh, because obviously if I started painting all 10 of them and then got sort of, well, near the end and then thought, oh, I'm not fussed on these colors. Um, yeah, I'm kind of buggered because there's not a lot I can do about it. But obviously if you paint one of them um, and you don't like it, it's not too difficult to then just sort of, well, redo it. So that's exactly what I did this morning. Well, say this morning, about, uh, about a couple of hours ago. Uh, so yeah, so this Kroot guy, I painted him earlier. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with uh, how he's come out and the colors that I've used. So this is the color scheme I'm gonna use for all of them, which is why you can see over there, all the paints that I'm using. Because someone did make a comment in one of my other videos about what color paints I used. 
because obviously I start off by showing a few of the colours and then I kind of, well, stop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to be doing a lot more painting of figures. It's all kicking off outside. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more painting of figures. And obviously you guys obviously want to know what colours I'm using. So I'm going to make a good effort of showing all the colours I'm using. I filmed a little bit earlier where I did just that. I showed this guy, explained that it's obviously better to do one guy fully like the colours and then batch paint the rest. And I showed all the colours. So basically the colours you see here are all... I'm saying you can't really see because my face is in the way, isn't it? Dull. Just realised, yeah. Obviously on one screen I can see everything. And on the other screen, obviously my face is in the way. Yeah, so these are all the colours I'm using. Um, and yeah, dipping inks. Uh, these only turned up a few days ago. Um, so yeah, it made sense for me to have a go at using these. So these are the four that I've... They, they sent me about nine, uh, but these are the four that I'm using. And these are obviously like the main colours. So this dude, obviously going to be blue. Um, I think when you paint these, you can paint whatever colour you want. But I think it does sort of say they, they're generally sort of like greenish, bluish. Maybe orangish, I'm not too sure. But I've gone with blue. Uh, cloak, I've actually done with orange. Uh, even though it's kind of come out a little bit brownish. Um, but this has only had one coat. So I think this is, is a case of the more coats you put on, the more vibrant the colour. Um, and then clothing wise, so the, his main sort of clothes, I've gone for a purple. Um, no real reason other than, so they sent me a few colours, but there's, there's quite a few greens, well, greens, blues and reds. Seem to be the colours that they, they sent me. So yeah, so I'm using the purple for the clothes. And then a the spiky head, I'm using red. And there's obviously there's a few other colours that I'm using that I haven't obviously got speed paints for. Um, obviously any sort of metallic colours, uh, I'm using, oh, the screen's gone a bit bright there, uh, but I'm using the gun, basically the silver, it's silver that I've got, I've got, well I use the silver and then I do a wash over it just to sort of dirty it up a little bit, so there's the other colours I'm using, uh, they didn't send me a brown, the, uh, the dipping inks, so I'm using speed paint hardened leather for any brown bits. And then their sort of beaks and um, any sort of nails, I'm using skeleton bone. Again, I use that with the brown wash over the top, and then just black. And the only thing I've done black is their eyeballs. Um, I wasn't sure what colour the eyes they're meant to have, whether maybe like white, like us, and a little pupil in there. Uh, but as I'm no good at painting eyeballs, <laughs> I thought a little drop, a little dab of black in the box they came in. I do. It's over there. Uh, I'm ignoring the box. Absolutely ignoring it totally. Um, when I came to assemble these, I did the usual, looked online, looked at what you meant to have, and pretty much, oh, I haven't got the book. Uh, obviously, I've, I've filmed everything up to this stage already, so you'll see it in a video of me assembling and then obviously painting. Um, so I've pretty much gone for one of every operative, or operative, um, except one, because I didn't have the figure, I could have adapted it, but there's one dude that's got the, I think it's a, not, is it a scout? He's got a big bird. Um, he's the only one I wasn't fussed on. So when I when I now make these, I do the ones that are obviously in preference of my preferred ones, just in case I haven't got the bodies to do them all. But it was only the guy with the bird that um, I didn't get to do. So yeah, so I'm really happy with the layout that I've got. And yeah, that's why I'm, I'm not really looking at the, uh, the colour scheme because, well, I just want to do the colours that I want to do and say it, it kind of came down to the colours that I was sent as well um, I've got quite a few speed paints um, I've only got a few of the Citadel contrast paints but I really wanted to start try the green stuff um, or green stuff world dipping inks so yes it was a case of whatever inks they sent me I would choose those as the the main colours and that's yeah that's what I've done with him um, yeah so I'm, I'm pleased though he's come out because I didn't want to do them green, because obviously I've got the green orcs. So I kind of wanted them, obviously, a different colour for that reason. Um, and yeah, blue seemed the way to go. Um, Eric, st uh, you stopped watching because of the, the music. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what... You're talking about the music on the stream? Oh, he's probably gone. Probably gone. Are you talking about the music on the streams or something else? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Sorry, Eric. Mm. Uh, Kenny, the inks are nice. Yeah. So, 
is it the background music? Is that annoying anyone else? Um, isn't it sort of almost non-existent? Let's have a look. Because obviously I can't hear it because I've turned something else on. I'm just listening to myself and I can't even hear the background music. Is it? Can you guys hear the background music much? I don't know. Uh, Peter, good evening from Denmark. Uh, you're painting the Rottmeier Creed. Oh, cool. I haven't got a clue who they are, uh, but the fact you're painting is uh, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess like the background music, it is really low. Um, I say I'm listening to myself. Strange thing to do. And I can barely hear the music. Um, Anyhow, sorry Eric, if it is the background music, uh, you didn't really tell me, so I can't do much about it. But um, I think it's gone anyway. It's probably gone. Right, let's turn me off because uh, that is really weird. But especially as obviously I, when I'm talking, you guys hear what I say about 15 seconds later. Um, so that makes it even weirder for me to hear myself because it's like I'm hearing stuff in the past. Um, so yeah, so I will be doing a bit of painting, a uh, bit of painting, a bit of um, videoing of the bits. Uh, but I've done quite a bit of videoing, so I shouldn't have to sort of stop and start too much. Um, let's just turn up music then. Um, yeah, as I say, batch painting. I love it. It's um, it's the way to go. And especially with, obviously, the speed paints. So literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the blue first and go around on all of them and do their skin. Um just because then when you do them all, by the time you get back round to the beginning, it's nice and dry. You can then go on the next colour. Because the thing with speed paints, different inks, contrast paints, you kind of need to wait for them to dry before doing another colour that sort of touches that other colour. Because uh, obviously these are pretty wet, so they do sort of bleed into each other if you don't let them dry. Oh, pardon me. Which could be a good effect if that's what you're going for. Uh, but obviously in this case, it's not. So, but yeah, by the time I get round them, um, it will have dried. So these have already got balls in them, which is pretty cool. So I've given them a good old shape. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a shake now. Um, so Kenny, the background. Yeah, because I don't put the background music on there, just because obviously when I do stop talking, I think it's nice to have something there. But when I am talking, you shouldn't really be able to hear the background music. Uh, Mikhail, it's fine. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Cheers, guys. The thing is, though, it's one of those cases... You can never please everyone. And I think because you can't please everyone, your best thing to do is just please yourself. So if you're happy, then it's down to other people if they're happy or not. But um, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, Ghostly Presence, still painted my eBay sniped goblin army. <laughs> cool. I do like goblins, they're well cool. Uh, Peter Loving Gal, background music is fine, very subtle. Thank you so much, Peter Loving Gal. Bill Making Stuff, hello buddy, how are you? I saw your post or comment about um, you being up at some tabletop gaming thingy this weekend. Um, I need to look into the tabletop gaming things and when they when they are. Um, yeah, because unfortunately I'm, I'm busy this weekend. I was, I'd, have, I'd have loved to have popped up and, um, well, annoyed you, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, speed paint. Well, I'll start off first. Obviously, slap chop method. Uh, well, there's a few names it goes by. I've got them written down because I forget what they are. Obviously, Slap Chop Method is the more recent name. Um, and I think, I believe that comes from some sort of commercial for something. Um, is it chopping fruit or veggies or, or something? Um, and I think it's called the Slap Chop Method just because it is very quick and easy, which obviously this method certainly is. Uh, the other, obviously, terms are underpainting uh, is a more commonly known one. And the other one, which is the oldest one, because apparently this has been a sort of style for hundreds and hundreds of years, and that's uh, Grisaille, again, probably saying that wrong, um, probably French, I think. But yeah, Grisaille, which is basically the technique of painting something in sort of shades of black, well, grey, um, which kind of is what happens here. So yeah, so all I've done so far on these dudes, again, a bit of video coming out showing what I've done, uh, primed in black, then dry brush. I did dry brush with a dark grey, dry brush with a light grey, and then a dry brush with a white. And that's how I've got them to this state. Let's get him nice and close and focus. 
So yes, that's all he's got is primed in black and then dry brushed and a white. Um, and yeah, he looks like that. So all I do now is just go over the top, say in the past, or in the past, the last few weeks I've been, um, but yeah, I've got Green Stuff World different inks. So I'm gonna give them a bash. I'll say obviously on that one I did do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased where it's come out. Well worth getting the, uh, the, the cheaper ones or more econ econ uh, economical ones. Right, so yeah. Um, I have got it set up so I can see the screen, so I can see what you guys are, are obviously talking about. Uh, the thing I always say is if you're asking me a comment, if you can put at miniature hobbyist in your comment, just because then on my screen it highlights it and I know that whatever the question is, is being directed at me. Um, because obviously I know you guys like to chat much yourselves, which is awesome. Um, because obviously when I'm painting, well, I'm not always talking when I'm painting because I need to concentrate. <laughs> I don't concentrate much, but every now and then it's good to concentrate. Um, but yeah. Um, I could have got a cat badge. Yeah, I saw them, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> well, I say, I, I need to look into when things are happening to do with this sort of, obviously the, the game and the hobby and all the rest of it. Because um, I would like to sort of go out and meet people and, and see some, well, see you guys. Um, but yeah, I say, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't know about it until, well, I saw your comment about giving away the cat badges. Um, right, so let's get this back into uh, the focus. Yes, yeah, so I prefer doing manual focus, um, well, just because I like to be in, in control of what it's focusing on rather than automatic. But well, what we can do is we can actually zoom in as well, which is quite cool. Um, and it's pretty sharp, I think. Cool. Yeah, so we might as well actually film a little bit of this. And here we go, let's start. So how are we doing? There we go, 20 minutes past almost, and I'm starting to paint. So that's quite quick for me, um, from starting a live stream to actually doing something. Obviously I need to make sure, because they've all got like little bits and pieces on them. I think he's got a few bones on his arms, so let's go in between. Um, yeah, so with, when I painted the other one, all the colours had one coat, apart from the blue that went on, and I kind of gave that two coats, um, just because obviously, as you can see, it is quite translucent, uh, which is good because obviously that's what you want, um, just so it sort of shows through all that sort of like highlighting and shading that's uh, that's underneath. Well, these guys are quite tall. I don't know if you saw one of my last videos where I painted the um, the Pathfinders, um, and obviously they're quite small, the Pathfinders, and they are like titchy to compare to these dudes. I mean, this dude, this dude's what bending over, and he's probably still the same height as the other ones. Well, I say, fingers crossed, everything seems to work. Be working with the stream, so I, I think it might have been. Uh, me using my tablet in the last one, even though I have used a tablet before and it's been fine. Um, yeah, right. Hopefully this new setup is golden, um, and then I'll be doing this all the time, which is cool. Sometimes I will be holding this in a position where you might not be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I see anything with painting and trying to film. Sometimes it's difficult to get the camera in a position where, well, obviously you can see what's going on, but obviously I need to do it in a position where I can see what's going on. Maybe I should get like a head camera, just stick something on my head. Oh, you may have noticed as well, I'm not using my old corks. Oh, I'll put them somewhere else. Um, yeah, the corks were fine, but obviously every time I cut these guys off, obviously it cut away a bit of the cork. And I know people kept saying, oh yeah, put, use blue tack, which is what I used to use. But when you put these into the blue tack on the top, obviously part of them sink into it. So you have to take them off and then repaint the bit that wasn't painted. So I 3D printed these, obviously nice and quick, nice and easy, um, on my Anycubic Cobra. 
Uh, awesome little printer. Uh, pretty cheap, obviously uh, the filament one. So these didn't take too long at all actually. I think these are about 26 minutes each, uh, which isn't too bad for a filament one. Um, but there's also a magnet in the top. Uh, oh, again, I haven't got the thing here. But I'm going to do a video showing these. I mean, obviously similar enough to make and print, but so the magnet in the top, just so I can have plates that can like, well, be magnetized to it. Sometimes obviously I, I paint big figures. Uh, normally the D&D &D ones are quite quite large. Obviously they wouldn't fit on this sort of size base. But that's why I've got another base that can sit on top of this, because it's magnetized. And you put the figure on that one. But again, that's, that's a whole nother video. Um, Kenny, what setup do I use to stream with? I'm using Streamlabs. Uh, Streamlabs desktop 1.11.1. Uh, uh, that's what I'm using. And I'm using a couple of webcams. So obviously you're looking at my uh, my face with a webcam, and obviously this one I'm my thumbs pointing at sort of is another webcam. Oh, that's thing I'm still videoing. But I've also got it set up so when I film myself making videos, I use the webcam to film myself. Um, again, I like to I like setups that are simple, easy, and obviously there's not too much to like clutter wise. So that's why I now use these because. I've got about four or five arms. I've got two lights as well. So obviously I've got a light up above that's kind of like on me. And there's another light sort of just here, <laughs> uh, which is obviously lighting up the figures to make it easy for you guys to see. Uh, normally I wouldn't have that one. That's just there just so you guys can see it better. Um, so normally I just use the one light up above. But the light up above, I normally have that on the figures. Uh, but obviously at the moment it's kind of on the desk as well as facing towards me. Otherwise, I'd be hiding in the shadows. But yes, yeah, so I do love doing this uh, the speed paint sort of or contrast dipping paint technique. It's just so much easier, so much nicer, and I love the results. Which is why I say I think I could be doing quite a lot more uh, painting miniatures. Um, anyone who's been to this channel kind of like since the beginning will know that I used to always not paint miniatures and just paint scenery um, because I hated painting miniatures. I was no good at it and the results were always pants. So it kind of put me off painting. Um, but then recently I've tried quite a few different techniques and I kind of love painting now, which is pretty handy. Especially as obviously doing the kill team, I'm looking at getting all the kill teams. Um, so yes, there will be obviously a lot of painting of a lot of different figures, different colours and all the rest of it. So looking forward to all of that. So obviously I've seen a few of you are painting. Um, what else are you guys doing? Are you all sort of just sitting, chilling, painting, watching EastEnders? <laughs> So Mikhail, Pathfinders and crew, I have the beginning of a Tau army. Um, so the thing is, that I, I would still, even as much as say I love um, kill teams, I would still never play Warhammer 40k. I, um, I think it's just too big for me, as in too big a scale, too big an army. Um, whereas I say I, I see the kill teams as I've said it a few times now, but I see it as um, like playing chess but on steroids. Um, as in them on steroids, not me on steroids. Uh, just because it's, it's much faster, obviously it doesn't cost as much to get a, a team, um, which then makes me want to obviously get all the teams, which is really good, because if I did 40K, um, yeah, you'd have one, maybe two teams, because obviously the amount of money you'd spend on getting those teams, certainly couldn't get too many more. Whereas the, uh, the good old kill teams, yeah. So a typical box set is about 30 quid. Uh, obviously when uh, Into the Dark come out, obviously that's got two teams in it. I'm going to get all of the, um, the sort of Into the Dark set. Two teams in each of those. And I think they're coming out is it every three months there's going to be a box. Uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I am going to have loads of figures. Right, I think that's all oh, his face, isn't it? And he's got his face. 
Um, Claymation, hello there. How are you? Uh, Chaotic, hi there. Thank you for putting up the uh, the Discord link. Um, Kenny, practice makes perfect. Yeah, well, it does. But then I think it's practice and trying different techniques. Um, yeah, because I, I would say I've only really recently, in the last six months, started enjoying painting figures and and like how they come out. Whereas for the first sort of year, year and a half painting them, um, yeah, I used to used to hate it. But I think that's why they didn't come out well because well, I just hated it. Right, he's got a mask on, but I can't. I oh, know it's just a line at the top. Yeah, sometimes the detail on these is so small. Obviously, this is why I should probably really have the box, just so I can see exactly what what is occurring. So this dude's got a mask on. Um, it is pretty much just at the front. Got his neck. Keep checking the screen every now and then just to make sure that I'm uh, I'm not blocking everything with my hand. Yeah, so today was the first day of me using these um, these dipping paints, and I say so far, yeah, liking it. Right, well, I think he's pretty much done. But I know I always seem to miss bits somewhere. It's like no matter how many times I look over a figure, I do uh, I do miss bits. But right, yeah, we'll put him down and we'll grab the next one. Uh, Kenny is vaping and watching the stream, and your cat is sat on your laptop, uh, on your lap even. Oh, so a nice way of uh, of chilling. Yeah, so I do quite like the look of these figures. They're um, they're definitely different. I like the uh, the other figures that came with the box set, but it was nice to have something that's a bit more oh, alien looking, I guess. Um, Ghostly is thumbing through uh, your AOS rulebook. Uh, you got today as a treat after a nasty root canal. Ooh, yeah. And then you can have some dinner. Cool. Uh, Mikel, I hope you like the different paints because the bottles are going to last you a lifetime. Uh, well, it's certainly uh, value for money, though. So the fact that these are the same price as all the others. Um, but yeah, three times the amount, which is pretty cool. And I must admit, say, this... Um, slap chop under painting method is my my go-to method of painting now just because i say it's so nice and simple the dry brushing is obviously as easy as pants and then obviously painting is is easy because it's like you're painting the block colors but it's obviously doing everything for you Uh, that Jazz J2, I mentioned this in the last video. Should try and get La is that Lamian or contrast medium and just mix that with your paints. Uh, but less restricting than using whatever contrast paints I have. Okay, um, yeah, uh, I probably won't ever do that <laughs> just because, obviously, as much as I appreciate obviously what you're saying, but whatever paints you want uh, or colors you want. You can have, um, and I've had a little look, and it's obviously quite a quite a good range of colours, um, because obviously I don't know how well you can well you can't really see it at all, but obviously I've got loads of paints from Army Painter. I've got their full I think it's a D and D range paint, uh, about 120 I think of those paints, um, and obviously as much as it's great to have so much choice, um, I think sometimes you can have too much choice. 
because then you're like, well, which one do I want to go for? Whereas I think having a few less choices is better, simpler. Um, and I do like the fact that obviously I've just got to get the bottle, give it a shake, <laughs> I'm good to go. Rather than, and I know it's not going to be a lot of time involved in the mixing up, um, but there is some time involved in mixing up. Kenny, who else paint, paints painting eyes? It's funny, I was watching a video earlier on about someone painting eyes. Who was it I was watching? Um, yeah, there's a new there's a new dude I've started watching. Oh, where is he? Uh, Ground Defected. If you haven't seen him yet, go and watch Ground Defected. Um, I almost watch his videos just for the chap. He is just so funny. Uh, really dry sense of humour, which I, I love. Um, and yeah, a lovely guy. Um, really good at painting, because watching him earlier on, he was doing like painting eyes. Um, but yeah, quite often I'll, I'll watch his videos just because it's, it's just funny. It's humorous. So ground affected, guys. If you want to go and have a have a little look, check him out. His tail is up. I wasn't sure if his tail, if he like was wearing, <laughs> if he was wearing pants or not. Um, because obviously at the front he's got like a bit of a, a cod piece on. Um, so that's why I kind of thought it covered his tail. But by the looks of the pants here, it looks like it doesn't. It looks like his tail is obviously on show. Just quite weird. The fact he has his um, his front part covered, but not his butt. Let's have a look on a few others because oh, he's got a cloak. No, oh, I think those have got cloaks on. Can't even see the butts. Oh, there we go. Let's check this dude's butt out. Or are they wearing a cod piece? I don't know. Might be wearing anything underneath. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's wearing uh, any kind of pants. Guys, go and have a quick look at some pictures. Are these guys wearing pants or not? Because like, I thought they were, well, just for modesty, modesty sake, uh, sake. That's why I've given him, obviously, uh, purple pants. But I say, by the looks of it, their, their backsides aren't wearing pants. And maybe, oh, I'm sure he's wearing some sort of guard at the front then. Maybe I might paint that silver as the guard at the front. Like a metal cod piece box. Um, what's that? Sorry, Mikel, did anyone manage to find it? I can't seem to. A link. A link to what, Mikel? Uh, I think I may have missed something. But yeah, guys, go and have a quick look at some pictures. Are these guys naked? As in their bottom half? Um, because I think they are. Although, no, I think there's a, yeah. I think they're naked butts, cod piece at the front. I think that's what I might uh, might do. Oh. My brush was drying up. Uh, the YouTube channel I recommended. Um, okay, two seconds. I will put him in the link. Ground affected. Yeah, go and have a little look. Um, yeah, say I sent you. <laughs> it's always nice if someone gets recommended. Um, but yeah, honestly, if you go and watch his videos, really dry sense of humour, uh, but a really good painter. So yeah, if you want to sort of learn some some bits, uh, yeah, go and check his videos out. But yeah, just a funny guy.
So it's a, oh, there we go, Jasu, they're naked. They have straps, but the thing that looks like a jock strap is actually their belly. Kind of like a turtle. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So I'm guessing that that front bit that he says like a turtle is a completely different color to the rest of them then. Ah. So you are naked dudes. Well, I would say they're letting it all hang out, but they don't seem to have uh, have much going on down the front there. Like the old um, action man. I want to Google the reference, I can't explain it. <laughs> uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it all blue for the moment. Um, although it does look like it would be a different colour, I guess. Oh, let's have a quick look because I haven't really even. Because sometimes I look at other people's paintings or how they paint them, see the like, colour reference. Um, as you can tell with these ones, I just thought, nah, just pick them up, start painting. Which is kind of what I did. The skin is green, the belly is ochre. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Mikhail, you prefer not having to paint their knob. <laughs> well, that's what I was I kind of thought about painting it silver. So it looks like they've got like a cod piece. Um, yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look. Well, I, I'm sort of thinking I'm just going to paint it all blue. Right, let's have a quick look. And while I'm looking, oh, it's all about moving the camera. I'm going to have a quick drink. Right, let's try and find somewhere I can see your willy or no willy. Oh yeah, it's definitely a lighter colour, isn't it? Yeah, I think what I might do is I'm going to paint this blue for the moment. Um, and then I might do a bit of like highlighting with a light blue. Um, yeah, I'm looking at a green dude here and it's, like I say, it's, it's definitely more of a, well, a lighter, creamer colour, but not, not a big difference. But hey ho, yeah, naked dudes running into arm and to battle. Might be the way to go. Um, it's like the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah. And they love pizzas too. Just like the pizza loving girl. Or gal. I keep saying girl. Is he wearing a mask? Oh, no, he's not wearing a mask. He's just got a beak. If you haven't already guys if you can hit that thumbs up button that'd be awesome um, as it does sort of help out quite a lot with the channel um, and how YouTube obviously sees it and all the rest of it so that'd be much appreciated oh 
I've taken him off and sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like this blue. It's almost like a, a bluey green. So I've got like a, a darker blue they've sent me as well. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's more of a case of just getting the colours of what it says. They, they sent me obviously a couple of blues. I've got about three greens, um, two purples. So they didn't send me a brown, which is a shame. That's why I'm still using the uh, the speed paint brown. Um, but yeah, no, I'm liking how the colours are coming out. Uh, Luke Penner, hello buddy. Hope you're well. Yeah, the stream seems to be working um, so far. Um, so fingers crossed, it's um, yeah going to stay that way. Uh, Kenny, thanks for the link. Yeah, I'll put a link up, guys. Um, Ground Affected. Uh, it's a dude that paints. Really good painter. Uh, but he's very comical. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of watch him sometimes just, just for the humour. Uh, just because he's funny. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing the good old underpainting style. Um, obviously, just prime the figures in black. Uh, then I did a dry brushing with grey. Well, I actually did dry brushing with two different greys: a dark grey and then a light grey. And then finally, uh, dry brushing with a white to get to how they look. And then, yeah, speed paint, contrast paints, or dipping paints straight over the top. Nice and simple. Job done. Fruits, eh? So again, yeah, if anyone's just joined, I'm doing batch painting. So it is just a case of use the one colour, go around on all of them, do that one colour. Um, and then go on to the next colour. And then by the time you get round to them, uh, the, the first paint you've done is nice and dry. So yeah, you can just do the second colour and you know it's not going to uh, bleed into the other one. Yeah, so you just sort of remove the paint or just, uh, prime it again and then pick a different colour. Uh, but fortunately, when I painted this one, I liked, liked how he looked. Like how he came out, uh, which is why obviously I'm now doing all of them exactly the same, which is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, cheers, cheers Luke. It's uh, yeah, much better than last time. So last time was just. I think it's always more annoying when you're not sure what's going wrong when you haven't changed anything. Like if you change something, then you'd be like, oh yeah, it's because I I did this differently. Uh, but last time didn't do anything differently. The stream just didn't want to work. Thank you. 
wearing quite a big old sleeve glove thing here. Right his arm. So anyone here that obviously plays uh, the kill team, what's uh, what's your favourite teams? Um, say so, I'm kind of looking at painting at least sort of two two teams a month. Um, but obviously, yeah, I mean, I, I say I'm going to try and get all the teams eventually. Um, so I don't really mind what kind of order I uh, I get them in. But yeah, if there's any kill teams you want to see me paint, guys, let me know, and I'll um, see if I can get them sort of well next. Funny looking things, don't they? They're kind of obviously bird like their face, beak, and their uh, talons on their, their feet. because I've, I've obviously done some videoing of me doing a little bit at the beginning I might do another little bit in a minute um, but then I'll probably wait till I change uh, the next color paint I use and then do a little bit of filming for that one so say so there will be a video out um, be next week of, of me assembling and painting these dudes um, the video out tomorrow I've not <laughs> I've not edited it yet um, should be able to edit, edit, uh, edit it in the morning um, it's going to be the, the Kill Team board. Um, obviously, I did make the Kill Team board. Uh, it was about a week and a half ago. Uh, I thought I'd be clever. Make the Kill Team board ahead of Into the Dark coming out. But then Into the Dark came out and they changed the size of the Kill Team board. <laughs> uh, which is okay. But, I mean, it took me... It took me about... Oh, I don't know, about 18 hours of printing. 3D printing parts to make the board. <laughs> Um, well, I didn't actually get to use it. I've used it in the game, so I'm pleased with that. Um, um, as well as obviously all the. Um, oh, my music's gone off. Oh, it's back. Hope there wasn't. Um, yeah, so I made a new kill team board, uh, which obviously I'll be using the Into the Dark sort of terrain with. So that's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, I've now got two sort of space themed uh, kill team boards. Um, but hey ho. Uh, Cinem Gaming, yours at the uh, other Death Corps of Krieg. Yeah, I'm a, I must admit, I do like the look of them. Um, that's what my mate was playing. He's been playing them ones and I've been playing the Orcs. Uh, but obviously, I think my favourite kill team uh, I haven't played yet, uh, but I hope to next week. And that's obviously my uh, The Intercessors. Which I've obviously made as Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers, so I'm looking forward to uh, to being them, which would be cool. Uh, Andre, uh, hello, hello. Is the buffer? Yeah, I think the buffering started when you came on board, mate. Um, we haven't had any buffering. I say because I've got my earbud in and I'm listening to music, and I can always tell when something's going to go awry because my music cuts out first, and then it seems to hit the YouTube. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we won't have the issue we had last time because that was just nuts. Yeah, so anyone just joined up, I'm painting these naked dudes. Um, yeah, it's all out on show, although there's not really a lot to show. But yeah. Naked people symbols. So I can work out what parts what. Uh, 
shoulder. Can't see if his shoulder's got some sort of little pad on it or not. Oh, it has the other side. Again, so I always miss bits when I go around these. Um, so I generally have to go around them a couple of times. But they must have another finger or thumb out here somewhere. Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just pleased it's obviously working to some extent, uh, unlike the last time when, well, it just wasn't playing ball at all. Very frustrating. Right, where's the video? Let's paint the dog. Um, I think I'm just going to paint the dog the same sort of colour. Oh. Right, well, hopefully that's all right. Um, so yeah, so the dogs, I'm just going to do them um, well, same sort of colour. So far, first impressions, uh, the dipping inks don't seem any different to the contrast paints or the speed paints, which is pretty cool. So especially the fact that you get sort of three times the amount for the same price, which is uh, a lovely bargain, and I do like a good bargain. Well, I like value for money. So she's got like a harness backpack kind of thingy on. still here which is good Yes, these little um, paint handle thingies, uh, these were 3D printed on my uh, Manicubic Viper as well. Um, I'm going to do a video on that, but these were printed on a really, really low quality, and the quality is not too bad at all, um, considering it was, I think they, they normally print out something like 0.1 or 0 .0, 0 0.1, I think, sorry, 0 0.01, um, I think is like the, the good setting, and I think these were printed out something like 0 0.4. Um, 
So point two would be like a mm setting, point three is a bad setting, point four is a I'm getting it printed as fast as I can because I just want it setting. Um, and yeah, the things have still come out pretty cool, which is awesome. Um, just because obviously I wanted to print out quite a few of them, and obviously these don't need to be sort of high quality um, settings because obviously they're going to be well used and get gunked and paint and all sorts of stuff on. Oh, is there is there lots of buffering going on, guys? Can someone do some comments? Because I've not seen any comments for a while, and obviously just concerned whether or not comments are working. Well, comments are working, and if you guys are there. Or is it because everyone's left? Um, well, I'm not expecting people to make comments all the time when they're watching me. Uh, I kind of know people are watching this whilst normally doing other things, uh, whether it's painting, making, watching EastEnders, whatever it might be. Um, it's just because I, I just there's a bit of buffering going on, um, and obviously the lack of comments kind of that makes me think: is anyone actually still there? Uh, Bernie's just got here. What's up? Well, hopefully no buffering issues, but I think there's a little bit of buffering going on. Not sure why. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I am batch painting and sort of slap chopping the uh, the group. And I'm using some Green Stuff World dipping inks. Oh, pardon me. Which so far, I'm um, yeah, I'm loving. So I guess that's kind of what's what's up. Yeah. So again, because I'm speed painting, not speed painting, because I'm batch painting, I'm doing the one colour on all of them, and then just going round. Um, and yeah, once that colour's done, then I'll go on to a different colour. Yeah, so I'm doing these croup, which uh, I've only just noticed, obviously because I'm painting them. Um, they're kind of naked. Well, the, the lower bits are naked. Uh, Peace Loving Gal is here. That's awesome. It's good to know you're there. A uh, bit of buffering every five minutes or so. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think some of the buffering was here. I say, I've got the music in my ear, and every now and then, it was cutting out for just sort of like say two seconds and then coming back and that's generally an indication that my um, internet well I don't know why my internet's playing up because um, I used to do live streams and the internet I've got now is twice as fast as my old internet so there shouldn't really be any issues because I never had issues in the past but I think sometimes when you do change over and get a new well, it's a new box, still the same company, just a uh, yeah, new box, different tariff, um, and yeah, supposedly faster, better, better broadband, but time will tell on that one. <clears throat> uh, Mark Vinny, possibly said that wrong. Hello. Uh, Andre, do I plan on varying their skin colors a bit or do you make them the same? I would say I'm probably going to make them the same. Um, obviously, I'm hoping that the um, the dry brushing underneath will obviously um, give them the different sort of like shadows and highlights and stuff. Uh, but in regards to their skin, it's going to be the same. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't really know how I would change it. Obviously, other than adding a loo um, and trying that, I guess. Um, I can't say I'd really thought about it. Uh, I mean, because these are supposedly from the same, well, 
same village sort of thing. Um, yeah, well, that's my excuse. They're from the same village. They're all cousins. Um, and yeah, they're all identical. Or they've all got the same dad. How about that? Uh, do multicolour quills on the head? Could do. Yeah, so I've only painted one fully, um, and that was just to make sure that I liked um, the colour scheme. Um, yeah, so his his quills are red, but obviously they're quite quite dark. So I was thinking about possibly going over later um, and getting a very light red, and just doing a bit of dry brushing maybe, just to make a few bits uh, well highlighted. Um, yeah, I'm loving how the, the purple looks on his um, the back of his calves there. Oh, that's come out really nice. But yeah, so obviously I've only used a few colours from the um, the green stuff, different inks. Um, because I know with the speed paints, some colours are like awesome. They come out exactly how they they should look, and other colours come out nothing like what they should. So that's why it's I would need to use all the the green stuff, different inks. To sort of really give a proper how I feel about them, um, so because you can get some inks that come out really well, or different paints, or contrast paints, speed paints that look really good, and then sometimes you get some that, um, well, pretty pants. Yeah, so his bellies, I'm going to paint this blue at the moment, but I think I am going to vary it up once I've done all of these um, later on, just because obviously that um, they do seem to have the teenage mint. Uh, Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtle sort of bellies. Um, that should be a bit of a different colour. Uh, but obviously mine aren't. So as you can see, I really looked into the colour scheme of these dudes and how they should look. Um, not, I just, oh, just rushed in. Not rushed in. Just wanted to paint them. Just wanted to have fun and paint. And hey, these are aliens. So I can make them whatever I like. We give them pink spots. Music's gone again. It always worries me, is it going to come back? It's come back. So does anyone else have the croup? Has anyone painted their croup yet? Um, and if so, what colour What colour have you gone? I say, I was thinking about doing the green. Um, but because I've got the orcs that are green, I kind of want them to look a bit different, which is why I've gone for the blue. Even though obviously it is quite a, well, no, it's not really a bluish green, but it's a, it's a very light blue. Well, I did consider painting them orange at first, um, but then I thought, well, no, because my son's uh, Pathfinder team, they're, they're orange. So again, I don't really want to have teams that look similar colours. Tiger, Tiger Ready, Tiger Raid. Apologies, I, I always say things wrong. Um, the Master of Nibbly Nobbly Bits. Yeah, I've not said that in a video for a long time, have I? Well, I should do really because I've got sprues. Uh, people have been sending sprues in, so I've got the sprues now, so I can carry on with that Thunderhawk. Um, and obviously, that will have lots of Nibbly Nobbly Bits. Yeah, I should really start making some panels. Looks like they take a few days. Uh, Andre is tempted to buy some. They are, I must admit, I, I do like the look of these because they're so different. Um, yeah, they are pretty cool. Uh, just to, I've only got printed crew. Uh, the real ones would cost you a liver uh, if you wanted the full arm. Oh, cool, yeah. 
40 carnivores so far, eight hounds and six Kutox. See again, that, that's why I love, I love the idea of the kill teams, just because they are so much more manageable in gameplay, um, but also to get a team. So yeah, that's why I'm definitely gonna be sticking with kill team, just because I, I like the idea of having a whole variety of different teams. Um, yeah, because I do like that variety. Just because, like, say, one week I'll have a certain team that will be my favourites, um, and then the next week it could be a different team. So with the live stream guys, do you prefer it when I'm uh, building something or painting something? Um, just I must admit, I know obviously when I'm painting, I don't talk as much because obviously I'm concentrating. Um, and obviously when I'm building, there's probably more, I don't know, more going on. Because uh, obviously painting, obviously it takes a little while to paint, say the head or a leg or an arm. Um, yeah, do you guys prefer the building ones to the painting ones? Or are you guys happy with a bit of both? Yeah, so when I get the um, some sprue panels made up, then I, I will do um, some more live streams making that Thunderhawk. Um, Cause it's currently kind of just sitting, oh, sitting behind the, the camera, sitting there looking sorry for itself, waiting for some more panels. And I say, now I have got the sprues. Um, yeah, there's nothing really stopping me. Well, there's nothing stopping me other than the fact I've obviously got well and truly hooked on uh, <laughs> kill teams. And space. Especially with the um, the Into the Dark box and all the terrain. So it's, so much, it's, it's crazy the amount of terrain that was in the box. Um, obviously, I appreciate the box isn't cheap, but you certainly get your uh, your money's worth, I reckon. <clears throat> uh, Morven, what have you missed? Ah, oh, tons. We've had parties. It's been dancing. It's been all sorts. Um, singing kangaroos came in. Um, I painted a few figures, well, say painted, they're part painted, obviously. Um, Tiger Aid has cheered. Cheers. Uh, Bernie, how long have I been playing Kill Team? I reckon I've got to be at least into my fifth week. Um, I, think. I think. I think, yeah, I'm sure it's five weeks now. So, yes, yeah, so I'm not doing too bad. Five weeks. I've got four kill teams painted. Uh, this will be my fifth kill team. I've played two times now. Well, I say two times, it's like two evenings. Um, so quite a few games within those evenings. Um, yeah, I, I'm loving it. I say there was me in the Warhammer. Um, well, Warhammer figures and obviously making terrain about a year and a half, never ever played a game, never had a, uh, a proper full team. And now here I am, five weeks into this, this game, and yeah, played several times, and I'm on my fifth, um, my fifth team, it's pretty cool. So 
So yes, yeah, so it is kind of funny that I, I do really like painting now. Um, and I, I think I possibly prefer painting to the actual building, which is quite weird because obviously, yeah, a good year or so ago, um, obviously I, I much preferred building uh, to any kind of painting, which is why a lot of the things that I did build um, used to be for orcs, just because say my painting skills were pretty pants, but I seem to be able to paint rust quite well. <laughs> obviously like rust buckets, so everything was just beyond rusty. It was, yeah, it was bad. Um, but I kind of used to enjoy doing the rust and I liked how it looked. Uh, Andre, you prefer the painting more, uh, building is part of the hobby. Yeah, I say, I mean, I, I will always like making things, especially, well, for the kill teams. Obviously, then, um, like the display cases, I really liked like them. Um, a bit more of this. Uh, Bernie, nice iron, pretty much the same. Love the painting and still have yet to get a game in. Uh, well, that's why, again, if you go back and look at some of my old videos, and I'm talking like ones when I first started the channel, um, and I was always saying that I'm doing all this Warhammer stuff, building Warhammer stuff, building scatter terrain, all kinds of bits and pieces, and I'd never played the game. And obviously I was that way for about a year and a half of never playing any kind of Warhammer game, and yet I had tons of um, terrain. So, a few figures, uh, obviously many orcs, but yeah, just tons and tons of terrain bits and pieces. I never played the game. And that's that's kind of why my channel then went towards D&D. Um, just because I was, I was building so much stuff and it had never been used. And it kind of almost felt, I wasn't sad, but it was like, I'm building all this stuff and it's never going to get played with, never going to get used. Um, and in the end, some of it I actually started throwing away just because I was running out of room to put stuff. Um, so that's why I went into D&D. &D. Um, obviously because I love D&D. &D. I used to play it as a kid, so it was nice to play that again. Uh, but then, yeah, so this came along and this is, yeah, this has blown my mind. I love it. Absolutely love Kill Team. I say especially, obviously, it's now played on a spaceship. That's, that's the weird thing. If you look at the, I think the first video where I spoke about the kill team, um, and this is before I knew about um, Into the Dark. I even mentioned that I was going to make a kill zone board that was going to be set on a spaceship, um, just because obviously I like the whole idea of like alien and all that kind of stuff. And I think it was literally three, four days after I'd done the video, said the thing. Obviously, more investigating, looking at other videos on uh, kill team and the like. And then, yeah, saw the, the video about Into the Dark coming out. It's like, whoa, that is so up my street because that's just what I've been talking about. So, yeah, and the fact that, say, they're going to do four box sets in a year. So, yes, yeah, so every three months, there's going to be a nice big box set. Obviously, Bank Balance isn't going to like it, but it'll be a nice big box set. Um, two kill teams, more terrain. And, yeah, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> uh, more than you like a mix. Building-wise, you tend to do your own thing. <laughs> but I'm not sure if it's them because I know sometimes they have issues so it's worth doing yeah, he's got some sort of band on his arm so it's just his hand that's uh, poking out Can't see his shoulder, just his hand. Done his head, done his feet. I think that's him done. Oh no, I think there's a bit of a belly. And so I'm going to do it the blue initially, and then I'm going to, once I've done all of them, I'm going to have a good old look online and just see what their belly's all about, and then change it then, I think. Uh, Jazz 2, I, I can bet you the next Kill Team box will probably be Tunids and Jeans. I hope so. I Yeah, I hope it's definitely Tunids or, or Jeans to design I like the look of. Just because they really do look, obviously, 
alien like that should be on a spaceship. Um, yeah, I'd be happy with either of those um, on a space Hulk. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I love it that it is on a on a spaceship. It's just awesome. Right, well, a bit of his leg there, but he's got a knee pad on. And obviously the other foot is completely out. Has anyone who's watching tried the um, Green Stuff Dippin' Inks? Again, I didn't even know about these until uh, about a week ago, just over a week. Um, usually thing like you guys do, just sort of like browsing through YouTube come across someone using using knees it's like oh that's different but I think they've been out for well most of the year I think but I've never never heard of them but to say so far so good So it's not far to the weekend, guys. Have you got anything uh, anything planned or much planned at the weekend? Other than uh, so some people proxy gene stealers with the Gale Force Nine Xenomorphs. Yes, I do like aliens. Good old sniper, do you like snipers? Is an alien weapon. Huge. Mm -hmm. All right, well, four to go, and then I can uh, pick a different colour. Can't see anything on his leg that he's wearing.
drink. <clears throat> uh, Andre, uh, for which in the dividends are quite a bit cheaper. Yeah, yeah, so that's, they are. They're three times the size. These are, um, what was it, 60, yeah, 60 mill, millilitres for these. And the other ones are 18. So, yeah, over three times the size. And from what I've seen, about the same price as one of these. Um, which is kind of crazy, really. But so that's why it'd be interesting to see just how all their colours uh, sort of work. So, because I know with the speed paints, some of them come out. As they they look um, what's one of them that doesn't there's one and it come came out I think it was I think it's just pallid well the bone or the, the sand golem one one of these came out like a more of a dark brown um, again the problem is that obviously I give them a good old shake for for ages uh, but I think sometimes some of the speed paints you do need to get one of those like vibrating paint shakers um, just to fully mix them in Otherwise, they just just don't mix. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's another there's another couple of speed paints that don't quite look how they they should. Um, but then loads do, so it, it could well be the same with these. Um, but again, I think without the proper sort of um, shaker, oh pardon me, um, yeah, you're never really going to get the true true look. I don't think. So as much as I really give these quite a shaking. Um, yeah, I think you do need the old thing. You put it on and it just vibrates it so much. So I might have to get one of those one day. Just to try it out. See if it works. Uh, Jazz, only got a 2K game scheduled. Uh, Tower Death Guard. Some second hand vehicles from eBay and you're going to try them out. So what, what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of game time is a 2K one? Is that like a good three hours, four hours? Um... Or do you get through it quicker? Uh, Dominic, uh, definitely a thumbs up on the different inks for price. Yeah, price is just... Um, full set of 24 costs you just under 100 quid. Oh, wow. Um, that's not too bad at all, is it? Yeah, and I say the fact that they're three times the amount is, is cool. Uh, was it the yellow? Yes, it was Pixel Love and Gal, you're correct. Yes, the yellow was more of a orangey gold. Um... Yeah, so that one didn't come out as as it should. Yeah, in fact, yeah, the yellow. I used to use the yellow more as a as an orange, just because it always came out orange. Even though the orange comes out as orange, <laughs> the yellow seemed to come out as a an orange. So yes, thank you, Peter Loving Gal. I can always uh, rely on you to know what I've said and done in videos. Um, but yeah, so that's another one. Again, it might need more shaking. I I don't know. Um, there's only so much shaking you can do, do by hand. Uh, but yeah, uh, jazz four hours minimum. You can spend the whole day. Um, but rules bloat and dumb people. I mean, can't remember all of them. Yeah, again, I mean that's why I, I like the kill team. Um, yeah, you, you get in, you play your game. You can do it in an hour or an hour. I mean, mate, it was like just over an hour each time. So I, I do prefer the, the faster gameplay, the shorter gameplay. Um, yeah, and just, like, just generally the, the smaller teams. So I can buy more. Um, yeah, and just try out all the teams. What am I doing? Not in. Um, this one. Uh, but yeah, Dominic, yeah, definitely uh, so much cheaper the paints, aren't they? So have you had a good chance of using them all, Dom? Oh, I've moved that in front of it. Um, yeah, Dominic, so what was your sort of, what have you found so far with the paints? Have they all kind of lived up to the colour that they're meant to be? Uh, oh, a bit of leg inside there. Uh, or yeah, or, or have you found some of the colours that are a bit, well, not what they like to say on the tin sort of thing. I was sent um, nine different colours, um, but obviously I am going to ask if they can send me the full range. Try them all out.
some glow on the weapons. Dry brush, green, yellow, maybe. Um, yeah, definitely, obviously, this thing, I'm definitely going to do something um, in the center of this to make this one, yeah, definitely glow. So cause this is just a, well, I don't know, it's like a laser pulse rocket grenade launcher thingy. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to be standing in front of this when this thing goes off. It would certainly take your head off. Dominic, you're sitting at the christening yours. Oh, okay. Uh, I have to get some test models together weekend. So you can slot them on, as it were. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, hopefully it goes well, buddy. Um, I say, from what I've seen of the few colours that I've, I've got, yeah. Um, I say, the orange, again, it does come down to shaking them. So the orange on mine has come out quite a sort of a brownish colour. Obviously, where it's sort of pulled up quite a bit, it is orange. Um, so I reckon if I did a few more coats, I would definitely build up the orange in it. But I kind of like the look of the sort of the colour it is, uh, which is why I've just done the one coat. Purple looks gorgeous, definitely like the colour it should be. Um, I'll say the blue, I give gave this dude two coats. Um, as you can see, he's definitely, uh, I don't know what you can see, but he's, he's definitely sort of like a, a darker a darker colour. Um, yeah, and I say the reds, the reds, yeah, the reds, a darkish red. Well, I think it is like a, maybe a dark red. But yeah, no, I've, so far, yeah. I say the value for money is just certainly would make this a more of an option to buy. Andre's just put my name. I don't know what maybe looking at. Right, somehow I've got to get to his groin and paint that, which is going to be tricky. Poke it through the weapon there. <clears throat> um, have I noticed any differences between the three brands in regards to how they behave? Um, one thing I would say about the dipping inks, they seem a little bit thicker. Um, 
speed paints definitely seem to be more I'm not gonna say watery but if you know what I mean by watery um, yeah whereas the, the dipping inks do seem to be a bit of a thicker thicker consistency um, I say it does still show through the um, sort of the greys underneath the greys and the whites and the blacks um, but yeah I, I'm actually it would be interesting to do like a side-by-side -side comparison try and get like similar colors and try them on well one piece that I printed out twice or whatever just to see exactly the difference um, but yeah maybe, maybe I should do that a proper comparison try and get three colors of the contrast paint the speed paint and the dipping inks get three of the same colors 3d print the same object out do the black um, priming dry brushing um, and yeah and just sort of see how they all go on how they dry and yeah how they look um, yeah so the, the blue seems to cover quite strongly whereas say the, the purple definitely seem to give a nice a nice sort of like darkness and highlights in it but again it might come down to me not shaking it enough it's always going to be the, uh, the the problem with these kind of paints I think they really do need a really good shaking but I say I think every paint really needs is going to look better when it's had a good old shake mix them in thoroughly I'm probably gonna go back and find there's blue bits that I've missed but um, hey ho can't always be helped Landon, like the painting bases. Um, yeah, these were Thingiverse, um, 3D printed. Um, yeah, print them on my uh, Anycubic. Um, oh, what's the one I got? 
forgot what it's called now. Yeah, any any one of the any cubic printers, um, the filament ones. Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna do a little video. There's not not much to it, but obviously I've 3D printed these. Plus, there's a magnet in the top. Um, as I was saying earlier, sometimes some of the things I, I paint are bigger. Obviously, it's normally the D and D stuff that has like the giants. So there's a magnet in the top, so I can put. A, I've got like a metal disc that goes on here, and the giant can go on top. Um, Oh, I haven't got them here, but I've got the like the, the normal bases that come with these figures, uh, the black sort of uh, bases. I've got some of those that I've got uh, metal in them. They can fit on here. So if you ever did paint anything um, on the bases, like most people do, so it's only me that doesn't, well, it's not only me, uh, but I like to put these on clear bases afterwards which is why I glue them onto this. So on the top, it's, it's a, uh, a metal disc. So these are sliced off nicer on this than on the uh, the cork that I used to have them on. Uh, but so having that magnet in there and having a bit of metal in the bottom of the normal bases means you could glue your figure onto one of the normal bases, pop it on the top, and obviously it's nice and secure because obviously the magnet in there is, um, I forgot, I mean, it's, oh yeah, it is, it's a 10 mil magnet, 10 mil diameter, but about four mil deep so it's quite a strong magnet um so yes yeah, so you you can get the base pop it on top and it stays there um you obviously got to yank it off sort of thing um so yes yeah, so that's why i made these base as in quality wise uh but a fastest print one and these took i think it's something like 26 minutes each um which for a filament printer is pretty especially because obviously the height's quite large but obviously on the inside it's like the the honeycomb um, sort of things. So it's not solid at all, but it's it's strong. It's secure. You can't can't squish it or anything. Um, but yeah, I just like the idea of making a different base. Because say the corks I use are nice enough, but the, this is a bit more ergonomically designed for obviously your fingers to hold it, which is cool. Um, but I did film myself doing the bases and all the rest of it. So I might make that into a video pop that on and obviously have a link to well so the, the original one of this I think was bigger didn't have the hole at the top for the magnet but yeah I'll do a link to where um, where I got it but yeah Thingiverse just type in what do I type in oh I can't remember I typed in paint holder that wouldn't have been paint holder oh I can't think what I typed in but that, that's why in the video I would find the link and Pop it in there. Cool. All right, two more to go, and then we can be on a different color. So these certainly are lovely figures, highly detailed. Um, usual thing, they come with loads of accessories, uh, head options, body parts, guns, and all the rest of it. Um, and there was quite a lot of like the, the small accessories that you could obviously put on these, as in there's like some more guns, there's little hand grenades, uh, a few bullets and bits and pieces. Um, I don't tend to put a whole lot more on because I'm kind of lowing on. Um, I don't feel like they need to have tons more. But yes, yeah, so basically there's loads of bits left over, which is always nice. The old bits box is getting, uh, getting bigger. So when I do kind of do some more conversions, then I'll have more bits and pieces to, yeah, to mess about with.
Helix cut out again. Yes, any questions at all guys about this or anything else that I do on the channel uh, or about anything that I make or you want to see me make yeah by all means ask guys uh, what's that Jenny hello yes this is dog Hello there, dog. Right. Maybe on the last one with the blue. This is the boss dude. Um, again, like most of them, came with a couple of options of how to build him. Um, I just preferred the look of this one to the other one. Again, I mean, he might well have a better option on the other one for his gun. Um, so I do still sometimes pick the look of the leaders just because of how they look rather than their, their weapon. But again, because I am just a, a casual player, it doesn't really matter that much. It's all about having fun. Uh, Root is working on your crew now. Cool. What colour scheme are you going for? Um, to say I had considered green because I've got orcs that are green. I kind of wanted something a bit different. Um, yeah, blue seemed different, but not too, not too different. Jenny, question. With white brown, use a dry buff method. Yes. When do I feel it's enough? Ah, I'll have to admit, when I do the dry brushing, I generally do a couple of coats. Because when you first dry brush, it's, it looks nice and sort of white or brown, uh, gray, sorry. Um, but then it obviously it dries and it dries darker. So when you see the video of this, I actually do a dry brushing with a dark gray. Well, I say dark it's like a medium gray then I dry brushed with a light gray and then I dry brushed with white um, yeah because when I first did this this technique my first character I did the dry brushing I thought yeah that looks good enough you need a few layers of it basically so if you want to see the speed paints are going to go on something I mean speed paints are normally obviously meant to go on a white so the fact that you're going to have some darks and dark greys and blacks, um, you do need to have it quite light. Otherwise, you're not really going to see the colour that much. Uh, Root uh, is doing a really pale green. Yeah, almost ghostly. To differ from Yorks, are uh, awesome. Yeah, so that's... Uh, yeah, because I wanted to try the dipping inks. Um, but the greens they sent me... Oh, it's black, actually. Not even green. Um... Yeah, the green they sent me kind of looked to orcs. So it was this one or this one. 
Um, this one looked too much kind of like the orc sort of colour I, I, I like using. And this one looked too much, well, I don't know, too green? Is that such a thing? It almost looked like they're, well, hulky green, yeah. That's it. They, it looked like they were the Hulk. And I didn't like the idea of that green eye. That just looked too too dark. So, because I wanted to try the dipping inks on this one. Um, so Green Stuff sent me these for free. Um, so I'm not paid in any way to sort of say they're good or, or whatever. Um, they sent me them for free. They sent me nine colours, which is pretty good. But they got 24 in the full range. Um, and I say, I, I didn't like the idea of doing the green. So that's why, because I wanted to use their paints in this. That's why I then went with the... Uh, cool blue dip because um, I, I, I almost went with the orange I almost thought I'd paint them orange and when I looked at the, the cloak for the first dude I almost changed my mind um, and I, I had considered painting these dudes orange just because make them different um, but then I thought no we'll stick with the blue because I haven't got any blue looking people um, and yeah that's why I'm doing them the cool blue dip yeah. But the thing with these is, say, because I am like a, a casual player or whatever the term is, um, I haven't got to be specific in keeping these how they should sort of look. Um, and say, if I wanted to, I could paint them, paint them stripy, just because it would be funny. Um, so yeah, that's why you yeah paint things whatever colour you want really I guess unless obviously you, you you do play in tournaments and then you might have to be a bit stricter on uh, on your colour choices. Uh, you, you did your Admech kill team in a blue. Oh, okay, I don't know what the Admech looks like. Um, so that that's why I'm quite excited about eventually painting up all the teams there are um, just because at the moment I don't know what half the teams look like um, or their names or any of that I say the pathfinders that I did last time um, the ones I did for my son is that a guy? No. oh these rings um, yeah I honestly thought the pathfinders were robots because I'd only seen a few pictures of them the helmets on and yeah they look like well, robots so it wasn't until I actually got them, it was like, oh, yeah, they're not robots. Oh, yeah, they're blue, aren't they? Oh, yeah, I've done them, yeah, they're, they're like a dark, dark blue. I say, so for his tummies, I am going to change it a little bit. Um, just because they are like the old Ninja Turtles and have a kind of like the tougher body bits at the front. But for the moment... I'm just going to do them blue, and then I'll change it when I, uh, oh, when I work out what it is I want to do with them. Um, Zach, I'm sure I've seen Croot that were a greeny blue scheme. Uh, you're a huge fan of the scheme. You like approach, and the scheme you like approach. Yeah, I say, like I always sort of say, this this whole hobby, gaming, building, painting, it's all about having fun, enjoying what you do, um, and that's that's why I say I, I would never play this kind of game competitively because, well, that's not really not really in my nature, um, and the fact I wouldn't want. It's really weird. Cause I, I do like rules, and in games I like there to be rules because obviously then everyone knows where they stand and what you're doing. But I think sometimes when the rules start dictating how you'd paint something or it's got to have the right weapon on it, then it becomes a bit too much of a rule. Um, yeah, I think some rules it's good to play loosey-goosey with um, and obviously colour schemes on creatures, especially when they're, they're made up creatures. I mean, these aren't real. You'd never walk into one of these in real life. Uh, well, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, so yes, yeah, so they really can be whatever, whatever you want them to be. In your own wibbly wobbly world. Because that's where I live sometimes. Right, we've got 
leggings on that seem to go all the way up. Oh no, I think that's not his butt. Yeah, I think I can paint a bit of his butt. See what I mean. But yes, yeah, so I am looking forward to making more of those um, display case dioramas for these figures. I do like them. Susan, hello, how are you? Hope you're well and having a good afternoon. Yeah, because then you normally come on when you're eating lunch or dinner or some sort of food. Oh, back where we go, back from the docks. Oh, okay. Proof of knee replacement surgery. Oh, wow. Has it been a long time coming then, has it? Um, ground affected. Hey, I was talking about you earlier on, buddy. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm 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 nuts for the kill team. Um, only started five weeks ago, and I'm I'm in it. But yeah, ground affected. I was um, talking good things about you earlier, um, saying that obviously you are an awesome painter. Um, but as much as I go to your videos to watch you paint, I go to your videos because I just love your humour. You are one funny dude, um, and I love it. But um, yeah, yeah, painting the croots. Um, I didn't realise they were naked. I thought they had cod pieces. Or something on down there. I didn't realise they were kind of like Ninja Turtle sort of dudes. So I'm going to change their tummies. Um, yes, yeah, so I feel like I'm under pressure now that Ground Effected is watching. Uh, your ears must have been burning. Uh, yeah, you want the box? Yeah, all right, it, mate. It's but the terrain. I, honestly, when I started painting that terrain, I couldn't believe just how much there was. Which is why the video that I did, where I obviously put, put the magnets in the terrain. My intention was to paint all the terrain, um, but then I realised if I did, the video wouldn't be out for, well, another week or two, because there is just so much. But obviously, it's nice to complain about there being too much. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love the terrain that came with this set. Relatively soon, then, Susan. Well, have you still got quite a uh, quite a wait for the actual date? Like I say, I've been using it. Don't feel pressure, you're not. Um, although, if you were judgmental, it would be in a funny way, so it would, I would still like it. 29, all oh, the 29th of this month. Oh, wow. God, you haven't got long to wait. Is that you um, out of action for a while then, Susan? Well, I suppose if, if you are out of action, you'd be sort of laid up um, painting. And the game tiles look awesome. Yeah, I say it's, it's just. Well, it was funny that I've made it. Obviously, I had to make another kill team or kill zone board um, just for obviously all those lovely uh, terrain, scatter terrain bits and pieces. So that's why, yeah, that's why I can't wait to get these painted because obviously I'm going to do a lot of picture taking with the uh, my kill zone board and obviously all the parts. But I say I've still not painted all the parts. Um, I think my plan is to sort of paint two or three bits a week just because there's just so much. But yeah, I think I'm going to be playing my first game uh, next week. Um, I'm hoping so anyway. But I'm not sure I'm going to use the new figures or not. I think the chances are that I'm going to use my um, the intercessors that I kitbashed into um, Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers. So yeah, I'll be doing uh, be playing them, I think. Uh, Inktober is coming and laid up for a few. <laughs> uh, but that's a good thing about this hobby. At least you can keep busy um and carry on sort of doing things which is uh pretty cool right i think mean, just around his eyes and then we can get onto another color
the, um, the sort of test figure I did. Yes, yeah, so anyone who's just joined, obviously, I've only batch paint, painted a few times. Well, obviously, I've only just got into kill team and, and actually having a team. So when I do paint these all like this, let's get this guy in focus. Uh, where's my mouse? Oh, it's gone to sleep. Um, yeah, so when I do sort of do the old batch paint the team, I do one figure first just so I can sort of like, well, just to check that I am happy with the colour scheme. I say with these, um, I was not exactly limited, but Green Stuff sent me their dipping inks. And obviously I wanted to try their dipping inks. But they, they sent me nine, so I knew that I was going to be painting these dudes pretty much by whatever colours they sent me. Um, so that's why the main colour of these dudes is blue. Uh, obviously their cape, even though it doesn't look it, their cape was orange. Um, oh, pardon me. But with like the dipping inks, contrast paints, speed paints, a lot of it is you can build the colours up by putting like several layers on. Um, so this has only had one layer. The blue, obviously this dude's got, I think this dude's got at least two layers of blue. So obviously you can see, uh, obviously quite light that one. And then obviously it gets darker. Um, so the blue, I did two coats. Um, the orange, obviously on his, his back, I just did one coat. Just because I like the look. Even though it didn't look orange, I just loved the look of it. So obviously I left it as orange. Um, the purple, I'm really pleased with the purple. I think it's come out really well. Uh, that was just, that was again, just one coat. So the purple lives up to it's what it says on the tin. Um, again, these were all hand shaken. I've not got one of those sort of vibrating tool thingies. Obviously I primed these in black, dry brushed gray, dry brushed a light gray, dry brushed white. So his hair bits were quite a light color and yet they've come out looking quite dark. Um, I quite like it though. So again, one of those happy little accidents. Um, so yeah, so that's why, again, so yes, yeah, so I, I do obviously a bit of, uh, a, bit of a, a brown wash over all the silver bits, just to sort of dirty them up a little bit. But um, granted, it looks sick and not the vomit kind. <laughs> uh, see the things, I've, I've watched quite a few of your videos earlier on today, um, the one about you painting eyes, because I, well that's why, <laughs> obviously these are quite small, but his eyes are just black. There's a little black dot in there, that's it. Um, yeah, I was watching your, um, your one on eyes earlier um yeah yes yeah, so guys as i said earlier go and check out ground affected uh awesome dude painting obviously far far better than me because obviously i'm not a, i'm not a painter um but yeah he's as funny as as anything um i say quite often i, I go and watch his videos just because i want to laugh <laughs> uh, i do kind of go and watch obviously how he paints um but because i can't always paint how other people paint I do go and watch just because it's funny. Right, so what should we do next? I think I might do the red. Oh no, let's do the cloaks because I quite like how the cloak came, colour came out. So we use the orange. I've, again, I have given these quite a vigorous shake in before I started, but then again, I did start a couple of hours ago. So we will give this a little bit of a shake. Um, Pizza Loving Girl, oh, you're talking to Susan Jensen. Hopefully you'll feel like a new woman afterwards. Uh, Grand so you use that ink as an ink or is it a wash? How po Yeah, I was saying earlier, um, I really need to do like a, a good comparison of this. The speed certainly come out more translucent um, when they go on. These do seem to come out a little bit thicker looking, but again, I don't know how much how much shaking these mix it all in. Um, although you'd think, if anything, the heavy pigment would go down the bottom. But yeah, so speed paints definitely more translucent. I would say the contrast paints are pretty translucent. This again, because I've only used a few colours, it's hard to really say. Um, I didn't even like just doing the blue bit not quite like a normal paint I think it is a case of so I know with the speed paints some of them come out better than others as in they come out looking how they should look and not something different um, I say the, the orange obviously has come out looking like this which I like the look of even though it's not obviously all orange the purple I think the purple's come out lovely I and mean, that really has sort of left like highlights low light. again this is where I feel really bad because Grand Affected is still watching I don't know the terms highlights low lights shadows shading whatever 
Um, but I like how the purples come out. There's some nice different contrast in there, like light, dark, and, and all the rest. Um, but yeah, so it is a case of trying them and just sort of seeing, like, seeing how they all come out. But again, I, I like how he looks. So that's the main thing. Whenever I paint something, if I'm happy, then, well, I'm happy. Um, and yeah, I like how he looks, so I'm happy. So we're gonna do, yeah, so basically the cloaks are gonna be this orangey color. So you've got a cloak, you've got a cloak. You've got a cloak, yeah, you've got a cloak. Doggy Dad has done a cloak. Oh, it's quite, well, that's nice to have cloaks. But, um, all right. Um, she's walking and riding bike onto that again. I'll oh, bless. Have they said how long you're going to be sort of like recovering, Susan? Is it sort of six weeks or six months? Or longer? Fingers crossed it all goes well and you are bike riding soon. Nuggle Nerd, at this rate, you're going to have, you're going to overtake eons of battle on having them. Well, I say it is my plan to have them all. Oh, me about just fallen out. Um, and yeah, I, I love them. Again, that's, that's why. I've always loved Warhammer, but never played it, just because the 40k normal game, it just seemed too much getting a proper army, it just seemed a lot of money, and I, I like variety. So to have an army of just, obviously, orcs, as much as I love orcs, I would soon get bored. Um, whereas, yeah, these, obviously, you get a kill team. I mean, what they like, summer six, summer 10. Right, so I'm gonna hold him there. It's gonna readjust my focus to where I'm gonna hold him. That doesn't look too bad. Cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll ever have more than uh, uh, Eons of Battle. You can see some I've, I've watched quite a lot. But he, I mean, he, he pumps out the videos, doesn't he? It's crazy. Is it daily? Nuts. Um, yeah. Grand Effect. Oh, you had the speed paints can start to reactivate with further layers. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, with, with the speed paints, I have put more and more layers on. Um, just to get like a, obviously a stronger, stronger colour, I guess. Uh, I don't know the terms, make it as they go along. No one seems to complain. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Yeah, so let's have a go at the orange. I was giving it a shake. We'll give it a bit more of a shake. Uh, man wins battle. Really pumps. It. Yeah. Now, well, he must have a team. There must be obviously people that edit them. Obviously, there's a lot of videos he does where he's talking, so they're obviously a lot easier. Um, obviously, like to do the painting and do a video every day would just be insane. Uh, and you wouldn't need a team of other people to edit the videos. That can take, obviously, quite a while. Um, it's like, obviously, I've got a video coming out tomorrow, he says, hopefully. Because I've done the video in, I just haven't done any of the editing. Because, um, obviously, with the editing, I have to get all the clips that I've taken... Um, and I, normally I take quite a lot of clips, um, edit them down together, cut out the bad bits or bits where I'm adjusting the camera, um, and then yeah, then do the voicing over. So even my videos that are pretty simple, I still spend I don't know, two, three hours editing the video. Um, so yeah, so to try and get one out every day on your own would just be just be a nightmare. Well, it must be, yeah, this paint, I'm say, I think it definitely is a, a thicker consistency because it does seem to be drying out more um, and being quite thick, whereas the speed paints, your brush sort of stays wet for longer. Yeah, there you go. Your brush stays wet longer with speed paints. Uh, uh, graduated. Um, I'm obviously, it feels weird just chatting to myself in my room. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it'd feel even weirder without any music. So yeah, so most people obviously watch something while they're um, they're doing something. So yeah, so I've been watching quite a lot of your videos. I say just because you make me laugh. So I have tried to send some people over your way. Obviously not just yet. I'd rather want them to stay here. But when I'm done, they can they can go and check you out. Uh, it's him and the other dude on. The yeah, I think I've only seen the other guy once or twice. I don't watch, I watch some of his videos, but not like binge watch. Uh, you can smash it out of a model in about two, three, the dang edit can take five to eight. It, yeah, so you, yeah, so even when I say two or three, I'm, 
I'm not a quick editor. I'm a simple editor. Because obviously I don't, literally I get the footage, I condense it down, I speed it up so I can get more in a shorter period because I, I like shorter videos. For me, a video that's sort of eight to 14 minutes is prime time. Any more than that and I, I'd get bored. That being said, my last video was 23 minutes, which is my longest video I think I've ever done other than a stream, um, just because there's a lot, lot to it. Um, but yeah, obviously I know a lot of people do spend a lot of time editing. Um, yeah, because obviously, well, you want to make it good. Uh, Susan has a lot to go in the videos. Yeah. Yeah, so the dipping inks, so far, um, yeah, so far I'm liking them. So because even the orange, even when I, again, can't. Yeah, so the orange, I put it out, it looks a lot wetter than the blue. Obviously the blue was wetter before it dried up. Um, but yeah, the orange is more like the speed paints. So again, it, this is why I would need to have hint, hint, green stuff. And I'd need to have all 24 colors to do a proper comparison. So I will be emailing them at some stage, asking if I can have the rest of the colors. I always think it's cheeky, but then I also also think if you don't ask, you don't get. So it's always worth asking because the worst they'll say is no. And the best they'll say is, yeah, sure. We'll send you out the rest of the inks and, we'll, and a bottle shaker. Right, let's just check he's in focus because I'm going to film a little bit. Um, yeah. Yes, I am going to film a bit. So let's press record. It's a good thing is anyone who has just joined, I have got my sort of setup here so that you guys watch on the same camera that I normally film on. Um, obviously, this won't have me over the top of it. It is purely just the model. Although, I just noticed there's a little something on there. Right, let's stop the filming. Stop the filming! Uh, not sure what that bit of white is. It doesn't seem to come off either. Just because of that little spot will stay as a. Oh, there it's coming off. Yeah, that will stay as a spot, which will look a little bit. <coughs> a little bit pants. But I'm not sure where that's come from. Right. I'm going to paint him and then I'm going to do a different one to. Um, um, but yeah, so the orange definitely comes out more, more like the speed paints. Um, this is definitely wetter, more translucent. Oh, I think I missed a bit of his arm in there. I always know I'm going to miss parts of the other colours. Um, so say, yeah, when I first did the first one, I wanted it to be more of an orange. Um, but then as it dried, I thought, oh no, that looks, looks more of a, a ragged cloak. Uh, so I think if it had come out like a, a thicker, bolder orange, it wouldn't have looked more sort of as raggedy. Uh, this, this looks more like it should, like a tramp's worn it, as opposed to, well, I don't know, an upmarket tramp. Um, 12 weeks, oh, that's not too, too oh, it's, yeah, it's quite a long time, isn't it, really? Um, things like it's going to be worth it, isn't it? Great time to feel. Uh, it feels really weird to low. Live, yeah, live streams. Do you do the live streams in um, Grand Affected? So, because I only came across your your channel, I don't know, about a week ago. I think I left a comment on one of your videos. I think that was probably my first time I'd seen one of your videos. Um, but yeah, if you do live streams, yeah, I'd be up for watching uh, one of them. Just cause they crack me up. Yeah, so guys, if you haven't seen Ground uh, Grand Affected. Um, if you like bill making stuff, Ground Affected is on a whole different le level of humour. Um, yeah, so go check him out. He's just funny. And a good painter, but funny. Oh, sorry. I thought, that's something about when you do this live, I kind of forget where the camera is and I'll just sort of start painting. And obviously you guys can't see Jack. Right, let's go there. Yeah, but say this this orange is definitely like a speed paint. It's uh, very translucent. Let's 
experts say, I kind of like it. I like it. Yeah, so that, that will sort of dry. Like that one. And to say, it's come out really nice. You can see the highlights, lowlights, shadows. You can see stuff. <laughs> it's not like one consistent color, basically. It's, there's varying shades of, well, orange-ish. But um, yeah, so I, I quite like that. I say, I, yeah. So I really did consider though this being their skin color, just because again I, I like the fact you could see. But that's more because the blue, the blue just seemed too much of a, a fuller color. Um, whereas yeah, this one's definitely got a lot more, a lot more going on. But hey ho. Right, so let's just check the ones that don't have capes can go over there. You've got some sort of backpack. You've got a cape. 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 Cool. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then you got PT afterwards. So winter is our oh, bless. But yeah, I suppose if you've been waiting for a long time, you're kind of uh, kind of looking forward to it in a in a strange strange kind of way, I bet. Obviously, more looking forward to coming out the other end. Uh, ground affected, hint, hint, <laughs> wink, wink. Um. So I still can't get over these guys being. Um, you know, Rudy. I really so because I, I didn't look at any pictures of anyone else who's painted these. Um, sometimes I do, just to get obviously like a reference of what they should look like. And then sometimes I think, well, no, I just want to paint it how I want to paint it. Which is why I say I hadn't looked at other people's pictures of this, and that's why I really thought, as obviously I did the first guy. Um, I thought they had like a cod piece on, just to cover their modesty. But that's why I couldn't really work out at the back, because obviously the back didn't have like. Um, pant lines or any kind of lines because obviously their, their, their bums are on show um, but yeah so I have to change obviously him because obviously he's the one I my test one um, and yeah I obviously covered his modesty although not that there's anything to obviously cover these are very much your action man kind of um, genitalia Yeah, so if I went over this orange, like a good two, three coats, um, it would really then build up the orange and look, well, more orange. Which I say, which is kind of like what most of the speed paints are. Translucent, and then obviously if you want them darker or more vibrant, then you uh, well, you put more coats, more coats on. Have get ready for Christmas. Yeah, hopefully she will be. Um, we have Paragon war suits to paint. Okay, I'm not too sure what what they are, but um, the fact you're doing something is obviously gonna be good, gonna be fun. Uh, you like the tint? Yeah, I say it, it's it's not orange, or well, it's orange-ish, but yeah, I do like um, yeah, I do like how it looks. But I think this is the problem with the blue. This is how the blue should have really gone on. But say so the blue really has gone on as more of a, a thicker, a thicker coat. I mean, I have got a blue wash. So when these are all done, I might actually go over them with a blue wash, just because they don't seem to have that sort of speed paint look. So as much as I think I, I get everything with that colour, when I pick it up and do the next colour, I always find something like, oh, I missed a little bit there.
Let's see that little bag under his cloak. I can't quite make out what's going on there. A shoulder bag or something. So we'll save that, that can be brown. How are we doing on time? Half nine. I was probably going to go to about ten ish, I think. Um, just because, yeah, I mean, two, two, three hours streams are, are pretty good. Because as you guys might know, after about two, well, yeah, after about two hours to three hours, I kind of start losing it a little bit. As in, I, I kind of waffle as it is. But sometimes after about two, three hours, I just waffle even more. Um, normally because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so it's like now, all I'm thinking about now that I've said I'm hungry is having a, a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, well, a peanut butter roll, actually. So yeah, I'm going to have a peanut butter roll. I'll be carrying on painting these, um, but I'm probably going to go, <laughs> might go and watch Ground Effective. <laughs> Just to say, it's always nice to paint and watch someone who makes you laugh. So, so I think it must have just been that blue, well, so far, because like the, the orange is acting exactly how the uh, speed paints sort of work. man Got a lovely big old cape right so let's get a bit more orange out and no pizza tonight no unfortunately not pizza loving girl i had my first vegan pizza the other day lovely lovely company lovely pizza lovely pizza so yeah need to have more vegan pizzas got from domino's um yeah i obviously just recently vegan uh, about five months or so ago um, and yeah, had a, a Domino's vegan pizza. I'm trying to think what it was called. It was was it chick chick not not chick not chick pizza not. Oh, see, I've got a pants memory. It was I'm sure it was not chick something or chick not. Oh, no, it's, it's just the problem now. I'm, I'm getting to that three hour stage. I'm just going to waffle. Um, looks great on orange, wet anyhow. Oh, I'm missing bits. Right. Oh, your shaking thing, you didn't cost too much um, on Amazon. Ah, okay. Well, so I am <laughs> I am going to cheekily message Green Stuff World, who kindly sent me these, um, just to ask. Well, I'm probably going to wait till I get this video out, just so they can see that obviously people are, do watch my videos, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm going to ask them, because they do obviously the full range. So I've got nine. So there's about number 15 paints, uh, different paints to have. Plus, Green Stuff World also do a paint shaker. So I might be super cheeky and ask them if there's any way they could send me said paint shaker along with the other paints. Because you never know. Again, if you don't ask, you don't get. Right, I was going to film because I, I forgot last time, didn't I? Right, so he hasn't got any dodgy bits I need to worry about. Right, so where am I going to hold him? I'm going to hold him about there. Right, let's, let's zoom in a little bit more. Gosh, that doesn't look too bad, is it? Right, is that full focus? No, nope, come wrong with that. It's going to get any sharper than that. Um, you're totally looking forward to it. It's a 50 50 air. No pizza. You had a salad and veggie hot dogs. Ah, cool. See, so yeah. <laughs> So this is the weird thing. 
I've only just become vegan. Uh, I've always kind of wanted to not eat animals because I love everything. But <laughs> I like the taste of meat. I don't like vegetables and I don't like salad. So it kind of limited my options of what I could actually eat. Um, luckily, I love fruit and I love nuts. So I could have eaten fruit and nuts for the last 40 odd years, but I wouldn't have been asked. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to stick to it. Um, whereas nowadays you can get um, plant-based everything. So yeah, plant-based burgers, plant-based sausages, plant-based whatever. Um, so yeah, so it's so much easier to be a vegan now. Um, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's, uh, it's great. So yes, I'm trying lots. It's really, I'm trying lots of new food. Um, it's like the other day, what did I have? Um, oh, cauli cauliflower? Yeah, cauliflower. I went to a pub, had lunch, and it was cauliflower buffalo wings. Cauliflower buffalo wings? Doesn't sound right, but it was something like, again, my memory is shocking. It was something like that. It came out, and it was in like a sticky barbecue sauce. Um, and I say, I, I, I've never really eaten vegetables. Peas and swim it of, of anything I'd have eaten. Um, but yeah, I had this cauliflower, and it was gorgeous. And it's because of the sauce. So I'm more... I want to say inventive I'm more I do a lot more with sauces and herbs and spices and other stuff just to make things taste really nice which is great because I'm, I'm trying out more and more stuff which is really good um what's the ground affected I heard the guy doesn't know anything about the war hammers uh, who are you talking about now who are you talking about me um uh, not much ground affected, but I think he's getting out. Oh, have I missed something? I'm, I'm not sure what's going on now. Uh, Sisters of Battle. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't mind painting them next because they look pretty, um, I was going to say cool, but I think I'm thinking hot. Um, yeah. Women's with we women with weapons. Can't beat it, can you really? Uh, Zach Cook, ask and you shall receive. Well, it is. It's. It has been a motto of mine. If you don't ask, you don't get. Um, so yeah, I, I do tend to ask quite a lot because you never know. Um, I meant that ground affected guy, Susan. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. You're talking to each other. That's all right then. So sometimes I, I read a comment, and if I've not read something before, I read a comment and think, huh? <laughs> uh, I know I've lost the plot sometimes, but then I think, have I really lost the plot that much? Right, anyway, back to this. So he's about right there. Hit the record button and let's slap some paint on this dude. And again, whenever I'm painting or doing something, um, for anyone who hasn't sort of seen my live streams before, um, so I'm recording this bit and in my head, I'm roughly thinking of the kind of things I'm going to be saying, um, as in the voiceover for this part. It will be something along the lines of saying that the blue has gone on kind of like a normal blue paint, uh, whereas the orange is obviously going on just like the speed paints. Because it is lovely and translucent and wet. Which is definitely how the speed paints and cost contrast paints, um, how they normally are. So, so I think with that blue, Either I've not shaken it fully enough, or I don't know. I mean, you can get dodgy batches, dodgy paints. So, but I reckon initially it, it could be more of a case of it not being um, shaken. But say so then you'd think if you shook it more, would it not get thicker? Right, that's enough filming. That'll do. I can do a little bit more of something else in a mo.
pretty much the, uh, the cloak on this dude done. Oh, let's get back in the camera shot. Cool. Yeah, say so I'm loving this orangey look effect, even though it's not orangey orangey. Sack with his pack lunch on his back. Uh, Grand Effector is terrified of those sister models, seeing how small their faces are. Oh wow, no. Maybe I won't get them then. Or if I do, I'll, uh, I'll put. Um, I was going to say paper bags on their heads. I meant masks. I put masks on them. <laughs> Although the paper bags could be quite funny. Oh, earbuds going to pop out. Oh, that, that's some brown bag. I don't want to get onto that, do we? Susan loved meat uh, and beans, and gout took that away. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, plant based beyond meat stuff has peas in it. And it hurts because that brings. Oh, no! Oh, wow. Yeah, so it must be though, for me, I say it's. I am a kind of like. Not like a fast food person. I'm definitely more of a convenience food person as in if I can go and buy something that's already been like pre-cooked and all I've got to do is heat it up in the oven um, then I, I love it I'm not very good at um, taking loads of raw ingredients putting them together and making something because my other attitude is if it takes longer to cook it than to eat it I don't really want to know <laughs> um, but yeah that's why obviously around me I've got Tesco's got Lidl's and they all have quite a selection of vegan food uh, which is great and the other good thing is it doesn't cost more than normal food because um, i know sometimes vegetables and stuff can can cost more so sometimes it can cost more to eat healthy than it can to eat um well junk but um, luckily the vegan stuff um seems to be quite quite good yeah definitely more i've definitely been eating, eating more herbs and spices um and yeah the other day i got uh, vegan mayonnaise because i love mayonnaise um, so yes, yeah, so I got vegan mayonnaise the other day, and it, oh, it's lovely. So yeah, vegan mayonnaise, um, obviously ground black, black pepper, um, yeah, a bit of salt, and then so I've I've tried making my own um, like a sticky barbecue sauce, and that that didn't come out too bad. So that's quite nice. I messed up the cauliflower somehow. That came a bit hard. <laughs> What I did there. Oh, my earbud has just told me battery low. And obviously, if my earbuds go, then I'm going to have problems painting and not listening to anything. Or maybe I should just put on um, ground effects videos. Well, I might get copyrighted for borrowing someone else's stuff. Uh, you love salads and veggies, yeah, yeah, see, I, I, yeah, Woo. well, I can eat tomatoes, I guess, 
not fast on them, but I could, I could eat tomato. Um, yeah, I just don't like any sort of saldy stuff, really. Has he... Oh, he's got a bit of a cloak, so really the last cloak. Um, that's not too bad. Yeah, so then I'm, yeah, so I think I'm going to do the purple next. So basically, what I'm done with the purple, any kind of cloth material they've got on is purple. Um, just to obviously tie them all in together, um, and to kind of keep the, the number of different colour paints down, I guess. Just so there's not like too many colours going on. I kind of quite like the uh, the colour palette to be relatively simple. Obviously when I did the intercessors, it was possibly um, too simple. Obviously with Darth Vader being all black and Stormtroopers being all white. Kind of reminds me of um, the good, the bad and the ugly, the old uh, Western. His sort of like poncho thing being at the front and the back. He looks, uh, well, he doesn't obviously look like Clint Eastwood, but his, his poncho thingy reminds me of that. Again, so when I get to near that three hour mark, I do start getting a bit, a bit daft. Which can't be really a lack of food, because obviously I don't normally eat every three hours, even though if you looked at me, you might think I did. Um, I mean, it's just because I talk lots. Say, when I do these live streams, and I'm on here for like, say, two hours or three hours, I honestly talk more in these two, three hours than I probably do in the whole week to people. Bananas, yes, pizza loving girl, I do love bananas. I do like bananas. But I prefer the big bananas as opposed to the piddly little ones. But yeah, I do love bananas. Bananas and grapes are my kind of um, go-to fruit. Although the one thing I do love, <laughs> being vegan, uh, obviously I, I, I love ice cream. But you can get vegan ice cream. And the ones I normally go for are sort of made from um, nuts. As in the ice cream's made from nuts. Um, but it's great because like, the ice cream's made from nuts. And then the, the ice cream I go for, um, well, one recently had, had bananas and hazelnuts in it. So I say I love nuts. So it's almost like this thing's like a, a double nut thingy because it's made from nuts as, as in the ice cream and it has nuts in it as well. So it was like, oh, lovely. And again, them ice creams are, well, one I get like two pound a tub. Uh, as in like the small, like sort of Ben and Jerry sort of size tubs. Um, so yes, it's, it's the ice cream's actually cheaper than uh, the normal ice cream, which is, which is cool. Not that I'm tight, but I do like value for money. Uh... Uh, Grand Fate, dude, I'm going to go put some kids to bed. Uh, it was called a Catch Alive. Let's chat. Maybe we can do a collab. I would love to do a collab with you, buddy. Um, you will wipe the floor with me um, in both your painting skills and your narration. But I am always up for a collab because you are a lovely guy. So, um, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers for being here. Keeping us um, company. Yeah, guys, go check him out after I've finished because I'm going to finish sort of soon. Well, I'm not even sure there's many people watching now because it's, yeah. But um, yeah, nice one. Cheers, buddy. You take care, mate. Right, so I think I'm probably going to finish up once I've done this dude's cloak, to be honest. So just because I have now in my mind got a peanut butter sandwich and I can almost taste it. Yeah, so guys, any last questions you want to ask, by all means do so now, because um, I am pretty much going to finish once I finish this dude's cloak. 
which is kind of almost now. Um, bananas are good, yeah, they are. I love bananas. I always find them nice and filling as well. Because they're the kind of filling that doesn't keep you full for long, um, but give you a nice little boost of energy and uh, just tastes nice. His cloak done. A bit underneath, I'm not sure I can even see what's going on there. Oh yeah, I missed the blue on his uh, his groinage. Right, yeah, cool. I do like this cloak colour though. Cool. Right, let's There, pull back. There we go. Cool. Um, um, a quick way of cooking too, but I can sometimes get pre-cooked veggies. Yeah. Didn't know there was curry sauce Ooh. and rice. It took ten minutes. Yeah, I need to do more stuff with um, rice and stuff because I must admit. At the moment, I have kind of more sort of jacket potatoes um, than anything, and I haven't, yeah, I haven't really done much with well, I haven't done anything with rice. Um, yeah, I need to have a little check that out. Um, Morgan's creations, oh mate, I am literally just finishing off. <laughs> Glad I could finally drop by. Um, well, it's lovely to see you. <laughs> to see you, nice. Um, but yeah, I am literally just finishing off. Obviously, got quite a lot more to do. Um, but I'm getting hungry. I've been streaming for you know, nearly three hours, which is good. Uh, and more importantly, the internet stayed with us. I've not been kicked out. The streaming software has survived tonight, which is good. Um, because obviously with the last stream, I don't know what was going on. Uh, basically, it, it just, well, it just wasn't streaming, was it? Right, let's just turn the music off. Just, it's confusing now. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks for sort of being here, keeping me company while I painted these. So yeah, so this let's, let's get up the main dude or the first dude. This is how they're gonna kind of obviously end up, um, with the exception of his groin, because um, I thought these dudes were wearing um, well some, something over their groin basically, uh, like a cod piece or something. But they're, they're not, they're actually completely naked. So I need to change that on him. But this is basically how the color scheme is gonna look for all of them. Um, so using the dipping inks for the first time. Um, yeah, a little bit of a mixed review. I love the colors apart from the blue, which is the one I chose, chose for his main skin. The other ones are very much like speed paints, very wet, which is how I like it. Um, because obviously they go on nice and wet. You can see the colours underneath of the uh, the greys. Um, for some reason, the blue seem to be a lot, a lot thicker. Again, that might be just a one-off with this blue. Or it might be because I didn't shake it enough. I don't know. But the the orange that I've used, and especially the, the purple as well, uh, I've used the purple one. Um, they both come out really nice. I love how the purples come out. I love the orange, even though the orange doesn't really look all that orangey. I just love it as a tattered sort of robe. I think that's come out really well. Um, so yeah, because I have to say, I'm going to message Green stuff um, and ask if they kindly send me the other paints and possibly they send me another blue um, or ask them if the blue is meant to be a, a thicker consistency um, because obviously it certainly comes out thicker. And I say you can't really see um, all the highlights, shadows and all that from the uh, the dry brushing underneath, which is a shame because obviously that's, the, that's their main colour is blue, so you'd really want that to be the one that sort of, sort of stands out the most. Um, but hey ho, uh, Andre, they're starting to look nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased. I say even with the blue not being how I wanted it to be, 
I'm still pleased with how it looks. So that's cool. So yeah, guys, cheers. Thanks for all being there. Um, video out tomorrow at, well, five o'clock is, I'm getting the, the, to the habit now, the last, well, the last month or two, I think. Um, video every Friday at 5 p.m. Uh, tomorrow's one is probably going to be me making the kill zone board um, for the Into the Dark sort of kill team set. Um, and then these dudes, these crutes, uh, the video of me sort of assembling and painting them um, will probably be out early next week because I, I am trying to get in the habit of, um, well, where possible, doing two videos a week. Okay, well, that's about it, guys. You all take care. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.